right so on the last video we did all the edges now we're starting on these blocks is a three by three by three corner blocks and the way to solve this is just like a AI cube what we're gonna do first is reduce this two by two so if you think of it as that that two by two that exactly like an AI cube we solve each one of these complete reduce them to their uh, completed corners and that will wrap as one block okay let's do that uh, well I have as you can see a tile there already so I'm gonna twist this uh, anti-clockwise rotation anti-clockwise rotation it starts with down across and up and that block will go back and then down across and up and that turn the block uh, anti-clockwise rotation now I'm looking for a yellow and red as, as it happens is here if you think of this little block there if I twist that around I'll match this red and yellow so that's the right block I want to re we'll complete this to do that I need a green and red to pair with that so green and red there is no green and red on this one there is one here well typically that one okay move that across let's have a look if that comes down here the red will be there the green will be there it will match that so first I have to break these two up and then marry them back up to break them up this top is my working area that I can move around and this one is where it gets stored so I'm gonna turn that around store that in there move that rotate it back and bring it back and marry it that makes any sense Let's do that and see. If I turn that a uh, clockwise rotation, that'll be down, across, up. Moving in this place, down, across, up. Now, well, that came down. Now, of course, this has been rotated with it, but I'm gonna move that out of the way. So I separate the two. Now I will click that a uh, back into anti-clock rotation so you can come back and marry that anti-clockwork rotation was down across and up bring it back down across and up so if i bring that back as you can see then married up now i can swing that up on the working area to move it across to this now let me just show you something so you see what i mean right that's strong up that will come in nicely married and complete this then i have to work on this edge which is yellow and green completed okay but let me just go back right this is where we were instead of bringing it up with the real red one to marry the red one i'm gonna bring it up the other way around i'm gonna bring the green one out uh, as you saw that when it comes up comes across and completes this and I need that edge to be completed so since I know the red is going to marry the red I'm not gonna marry up for now I'm gonna prepare for the next move so I'm gonna swing it the other way around which is a clockwise rotation which is down across up and get back down across and up we're doing so it's not quite right is it it didn't match up but this edge now is ready to receive what I need to put in what I need to marry this up is is a yellow and green of course yellow and green as we already seen it's here ready this edge has to marry a green so to marry green first I need to get it up there to my working area as the green will be facing there and marry a green one there okay now ignore that's just complete coincidence that's a green but for now I just want to get that up so to get that up is a anti-clockwise rotation down across up and get back down across and up okay so that's come up now I need to put a green here so if I look on the top there is a green one there so I can bring that back and the green will come down here so 
that went very nicely. Uh, we'll move my block originally I wanted to save, but unfortunately it's not much I can do with that one, it's just dumb luck it happened that way. So I'm going to rotate that and put that green there. So, but that is a clockwise rotation, which is down, cross, up, move it down, down, across, up. The green is already there. My green there, I'll swing that back and they'll tear it up. Now, this ready to receive that green, so all I need to do is turn that around, so bring it down here. To do that is a clockwise rotation. Clockwise was down, across, up, move it back, down, across, and up. That's ready. Now, you remember that we changed its orientation, so we need to swing it back again. So I'm gonna bring it to another empty space and swing that a uh, anti-clockwise rotation, which is down, across, up, move it back, down, across, up, and I'm gonna bring that back. They will marry up nicely. Now the whole thing gets swing around on the top so we can can come and marry this. So that is a clockwise, down, across, up, we down, down, across, up, and that will complete our first corner block. Okay? Now, the rest of it is exactly the same as AI cube. I don't know if you've done uh, 4x4 AI cube or you're familiar with it, but Twisted Puzzling and Super Antonio Vivaldi both have an incredible tutorials regarding how to do the AI cube. Uh, you can go and watch that one or follow this. Well, my explanation, I'm not as good as explaining all the details and algorithm of R and RI and U and UI. But it's entirely it's preference. I learned it that way, but it's, for me it's easier to say tuck in and pull in and pull down. I remember them better. But it's your choice. Right, so this is complete. I'm looking for another one to start and I'm looking around this one is already half done so these two are done all I need is a yellow one here so I'm looking there's a yellow one there if I move that yellow down here this will come in and marry it so to move that down it has to rotate a clockwise rotation so it'll be down cross up move it back down cross up that's down, bring that back to it. Oh, look at that, nicely married up. And of course now I do it again, a clockwise to bring the whole of the tile down here and save it. So that'll be another clockwise rotation, which is down, across, up, with back, down, across, up. And that will complete that. Right, now bear in mind, as you're moving these things, this, it gets displaced bear that in mind not to break it back up so i'm going to swing that back to make sure it's safe in there and i've got that complete there now i'm looking for a yellow and an orange so that doesn't have a yellow and orange that doesn't have one that does so now just to show that will marry that one nicely so what i need is either orange and purple or orange no, sorry, orange and purple or yellow and purple? There is no yellow and purple. No, that's the one we already completed. So I'm going to bring that back there. Don't want to confuse that one with the rest. So, orange and purple. Is the orange and purple there where they're attached again? <laughs> so let's look for something else. The yellow and purple. There's a yellow and purple there. So if I move that down twist that around so that's facing down them two can marry yeah so let's do it here so first i will twist that around so there's an anti-clock anti-clock was down across up bring it back down across up i bring my purple and yellow down push it out the way now bring the other yellow and purple down that's coming down here that's a clockwise rotation down across up that way, down, across, up, and of course they will marry. Now, now they're married, I want to bring them with to that. 
I have a yellow and that's the yellow so when I know that will marry that so I'm gonna push the purple up purple goes up up a uh, anti-clock rotation across up push it back down across up so as you can appreciate if I turn that around I will marry that up nicely and the colors match nicely so that's sorted I'm looking for orange and purple to marry a purple center orange and purple don't forget this block is complete don't want to mess with that so I'm gonna put that back where it's belong orange and purple where is it that's full orange and purple I want to marry that to a purple well there's a purple center there and a purple center there so I can swing that around bring the purple down here and when this comes around it will marry that married up yeah so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna turn that around and bring that down that will be a anti-clock rotation down across up tuck it in down across up and when I bring that in that will marry nicely swing that down save it so that's another anti-clock and don't forget anti-clock was down anti-clock on the bottom up bring it back down anti-clock and up so that's sorted I want to bring that in of course that has been rotated so I need to turn that back to marry this so I'll bring that to an empty slot and turn that around so that's it clockwise so it'll be down this time is clockwise up bring it back down clockwise up and that will marry come in marry that now I want to push that back around upwards so that's a anti-clock so it'll be down anti-clock up bring it back down anti-clock up and that will complete this now this is when it gets interesting that one is already complete this what I completed needs to go there okay so you appreciate it's like this and this one has to go there and that one has to go there so the top only the top two layers have to switch places yeah now the top two places to switch places I can do one of two things I can switch that in the back tucked away and switch these two around which is straightforward enough and when I bring that back they'll be safe but if you learn this algorithm you, know, you can use this later on for another option uh, let's go through that one it'll be one two that's the two and one on the top so that's done yeah let's do it again so I want to switch only the top two so from the top one two and then both of them together one so now we'll start from the left down across up and then the right down across up and then the left again down across and up and what that did if you look let's switch the top one more time where have they gone there and that matched up with that one perfectly and that matched up with that one perfectly so them two is sorted out is it three three edges rotation but the way it works as well so I can switch these two together to bring them to next day. so if I bring that across there makes them two right next to each other keeps my working spaces together so how was it to move them around the whole of the block not just the top that's down cross up down across up down across up now my two completed edges are next to each other my two working areas are next to each other now I'm working on these two let's have a look I have a black here black and red if I swing that up the black will come on that edge and when it swings around and marry this black so that is a clockwise rotation now remember down clockwise up 
bring it back down clockwise up brings it back there bring it together that's complete now I'm going to swing that again clockwise down across up bring it back down across and up and that's sorted now before we get into a mess I we'll just turn that back to make sure these stay together I don't want them to come in mixing up with these and confusing the issues so now we have that complete we're looking for a black and red so of course that's not it this must be it that they're already matched up so that's a lucky one I'm looking at purple black that's the black so I don't want the black to be on the edge I'll put the purple so I will do that uh, anti-clockwise rotation anti-clockwise goes down across up put it in down across and up right now this will go nicely with that what I want is red and purple okay let's look for red and purple I have a red and purple there he needs to marry a red no actually it has to marry a purple that has to marry a purple so if I bring that across purple needs to be here but it's there I can swing that down to marry but if I swing that on this bar will across come stand up and from here it'll break so I can't use that yet so I need to reorient this such that this is on that side so when I twist that it will come in so to bring that on there I need to marry that up such that when it comes back it, it pairs up with it so I'll bring that up for now twist that a clockwise so down across up tuck it in down across and up so I brought that in that's changed but we'll come back to that in a sec now I bring that with that so it is there which is good now if I turn that around the black will come down here and that will go there so let's do that so doing this again down across up tuck it in down across and up now the whole of object of doing that was when to bring this in now I can swing that back there to marry the black but I have a problem now these two have joined together them two joining together if I marry them up and take them back will that work yes it will so I'm going to twist that around bring that down there so down across up take it in down across and up right so now it's there bring the brack in if I turn that around I'll go up with it but we'll take the purple with it which of course defeats the object they're, they're supposed to be separated so let's start again I want to separate these two to separate these I'll bring that back right and what I want to do is change the orientation of this one to do that I will take that back in so basically I'm going back there was a mistake somewhere I made I need to rectify that one and push that up and bring that down so there so that's gone up now I want to reorient that so bring that in and take that up with the black right so now I've got it up there separated the black is here ready to take that purple that purple can go down right now when that comes in you see now I can take them and separate these three from that with a clockwise rotation so now I'll push that out of the way now can you bring it that would have come down come down here so when I push that out of the way I want the purple to face that ready to receive the other purple so that will be a clockwise rotation 
And all of that was to prepare to separate these two such that the purple is ready to come down. I've got that here. That purple is ready to come down without breaking these two. So now is a anti-clockwise rotation. Now we're doing so they stayed as a bar that can be separated while that receives that. Now I can take that down and save it, but these is not ready. The purple is facing up. So I need to reorient it that. Because that's the only empty space I have, I'll push this up and get it out of the way before I can orient that in that spot. So that will be a clockwise. Yeah, that will just get him up. The only purpose of that one is to be able to get it out of the way so I can reorient this. This is a clockwise rotation. Yeah, so the purple is down. That's coming down. I get this purple down. Now, pair them up. That's it. That's complete. And I turn that a clockwise rotation and get it up. Yeah. Now that is ready to go and marry up with that. Now before I do that, as you remember, these two are complete here, so I don't want to break that up. All I want to do is move just this top bit to go there. So just moving the top two. This is why I said it's handy to learn that algorithm because it comes handy. I can't just move them up. We have to do it on the spot. For that was top two, and then top to top two layer ones. Then starting from the left, down, across, up, down, across, up, and down, across, and up. And we're doing so, we're turning this one turn. That's complete, that's complete, that's complete. Leaves us with this, okay? Again, now coming back to AI cube, these are last corner. Last corner is the most trickiest one. Uh, more often than not, I'll just go with uh, basic principles. But Super Antonio Vivaldi and Twisted Puzzle Inc. have broken this down in different setups that can happen, different configurations that can happen and give you a specific algorithm. What I learned from them was instead of learning a specific algorithm, I make bars. So set this up as such a bars and then try to, well, wing it as they call. Uh, but more often than not, it works pretty well. Right, this bar is complete, so I'm not worried about that one. I'm looking at these, there are two greens I need to find. So what I need to do is to have something here or there with a green on. That already has a green. So I'm gonna swing this up to come down here. So I want this face to be green. So I'm going to turn that a clockwise rotation. Yeah. So that's done. So when I bring that out across, I'll marry that green and I swing that down to save what I made down here. Yeah. So that's gone down there and I'll bring that back. By doing so, if you appreciate, I have a full tile there and two little bars there. In here, I have a full tile made a bar there, which is not so bad. I suppose it's better than nothing, but we'll come back to that in a second. Now, what I can do, I can swing that around to put my bars on the top. I usually like to buy it either that way or that way on the top. So that is a anti-clockwise rotation. Right, we're doing so. My green is here, that green can come and marry that green, breaks that up. So that's not a good idea. Let's have a look. If I bring that one up, that will marry that and make two bars here. Okay, let's do that. This is the bit I was telling you, it's a little bit winging it. There is more systematic ways of doing it, but I hate copying and memorizing some of the answers algorithm. I'd rather work it out myself, see how it works. Uh, now I've got the yellow and green. 
I have a yellow and green here. So if I swing that up, it'll come down here and match that as it comes across. That makes a full towel. See if that will work for me. It's not the quickest way, the way I do it, because it's not as systematic, but it gives me the comfort of not copying somebody else's work entirely. So that's done. Now, can you appreciate that will come up like orange and green there. In here, I have an orange and green. So that will work well for me. So if I turn that around, makes the full tile, and as I push that back there, you see, that will come in and they two will marry up. So, now, that's complete again, that's complete again, that's complete again, and in here I have a bar there, a bar there, and a bar there. So that worked well. Now, this is coincident to match, but this is the best case scenario, that's the easiest case scenario to work. Uh, when it's like this, I will want to swing it around so these two are not matched. So I can either turn it that way around or that way around, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's turn it anti-clockwise, see how that would work for us. Right, so now it's anti-clockwise. I'm looking to see that bar can go out and match something else. And when it goes, it'll turn that way. So that will come across there match a black and turn with turning this will turn and them two will match that so with matching this i can match these two so that's a good option for me that will solve the whole thing yeah so when i'm looking for something to be black here i have a black there i can switch these two to so switch these two is down across up down across up down across up Right, so that black is there, so comfortably receive this. So let's do that. Bring that in, match it. Turn that in, so safely tuck that one away. And when that comes back, look at that. Marries that one up, that tile and that tile complete. All I need to do is turn that clockwise. And now that's complete. Now, of course, if you look, this black and red belongs to that, and that black and green belongs to that. So all I need to do is change these two for top two. Top two was top twice, and then top two once. And then from the le left, down, across, up, down, across, up, and down, across. Up. And when I turn that back, I have that complete, that complete, yeah? So my first two by two, my, well, my first four two by two corner blocks are complete. That will make my first one set complete. And the next step will be to solving these edges, okay? I hope that wasn't too fast. And we'll catch up with you on the next one. Thank you.